Frank Lavecki's review calls Maleficent a wicked for tweens. This live-action reimagining of Disney's animated Sleeping Beauty, told from the villain's point of view, flips the elegant Maleficent from evil to tragically heroic. One might think that's a waste of a good villain, or a denial of the existence of evil, but it works if the villain has been genuinely misunderstood. Well, well. So once upon a time, the sorceress fairy Maleficent, played by Angelina Jolie, uninvited to the christening of the king's daughter Aurora, cast a curse sending the girl to a death-like sleep at 16, to be awakened only by true love's kiss. Classic overreaction. But not really. That wasn't peak, but payback, for emotional reasons this retelling makes visceral. The film's best moments, in fact, are those powered by emotion, not plot, as Maleficent finds, to her surprise, she can't help but protect the girl. I know you're there. Don't be afraid. I am not afraid. Then come out. Then you'll be afraid. Yet, for all such emotional resonance, Maleficent misses the mark. Aurora's three auntie fairies are third-rate three stooges. An impenetrable fence of living thorns seems to come and go whenever the plot requires characters to do so. Nor is the look particularly magical. The first-time director, Robert Stromberg, is an Oscar-winning production designer. The landscapes are video gamey, the trolls and gremlins look like 1980s animatronics, and the digital matting at times recalls the 1950s Superman TV series. Curse this film. No, that's a little strong. Banish it to video.